Hi, this is Dr. Nikki. Really excited to be here with you today to share my new book, Math Workshop in Action. We are going to look at chapter four. Chapter four is all about the opening. What do you do in the beginning? What do you do? Remember, workshop is three periods. So there are three sections, right? There's the intro and all of that. And then there's the student activity where you have guided math and the math workstations. And then you have the debrief. And they're all really important. So I'm just talking about the opening right now, part one of the opening, because the opening has two parts. So the part one is like the calendar, the routines, the energizers. And I go into, you know, like a routine for kindergarten, first grade is question of the day. And um, a routine for third, fourth, and fifth is fraction of the day or, you know, for fourth after they've learned decimals and fifth decimal of the day you wouldn't do all these routines in one day but you do them alternating um you know day after day and um, the point is that you want distributed practice over time and so i give examples and i talk about it those are routines that you should have in place because what happens is people say oh my kids don't know the fractions i don't know what they did last year well they did know fractions, but they forgot about them. So you've got to just remember. You've got to help them to remember what they've done. And you do that by having practice all year long. And then when you get to your fraction chapter, you'll see it'll be fine. Because when you do fraction of the day, you review all the other stuff that they learn. And then when you get to your unit, then you start incorporating new stuff in. So this chapter just talks a lot about fluency, energizers, and routines. Really important that you have some and do some. And you should always do number of the day. Um, you know, a couple of times a week, no matter what grade, right? Because even in kindergarten, you know, you're exploring numbers. But even in fifth grade, kids need review of, of whole numbers. So to have a number of the day routine. Um, and then do number talks. There's a lot of stuff out there about number talks. There's a really good book out there right now by Kathy Humphreys and Ruth Parker about number talks. Get that book. It's, I tell everybody, get that book. It's a great book. Um, it'll help you with your number talks. Um, and then there's also the Sherry Parrish stuff, which is excellent. The videos are fantastic. Um, and then I always say that you should do some sort of shape of the week. And the reason I say that is because geometry, our kids just have struggle with it. So I think you should do some sort of just quick five minute routine around geometry every week. Um, and then I talk about uh, problem of the day super important and this is the thing that I'll say about problem of the day is that when you do problem of the day problem of the day is not just about solving a problem in five minutes problem of the day is about teaching kids the process of problem solving so what you'll do is every day you might work on the same problem for like three or four days it might be problem of the week it could be a really rich long problem and in when you do it the first day you might think about the problem read it talk about it discuss it come up with a way that you might want to do it and then the second day you might say okay what's a plan let's let's execute that first plan and then this third day you might say okay let's do it another way and then the fourth day you might check all your work and write about it so problem of the day is about teaching children what it means to be problem solvers and how to have perseverance and to stick with it and to double check their work. So there's a whole section in here on problem of the day. That is chapter four. Happy mathing.